thank you for joining our webinar today. We greatly appreciate um, your membership with IIANC. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Gina Stallings, and I am um, your contact here at the Association for Market Access. Today, we are excited to introduce NREV. They are our newest IMS partner carrier, and we are, we are just so excited to have them in the program. Um, today, we have Jack Jeanette, he's founder and CEO of NREV, and Nick Bonatti. Did I butcher that? It's very, very close. Very that close. Works perfectly. Okay, um, and he is head of the surety um, there. Um, before turning the program over to them, I would just ask that you um, put your systems on mute. If you have any questions, you can um, put it in the chat or we'll have a question and answer session at the end. Um, so I, again, thank you for joining us. And at this time, I'd like to turn it over to Jack and Nick. Perfect. Thank you so much, Gina. We're excited to be here with you all today. Um, NREV is a surety bond underwriter. And what we'd like to do today is um, walk you guys through really um, at a high level why surety matters for you as an insurance agent in North Carolina. Um, and then a quick primer on surety or um, maybe a, uh, an update on some things um, if you do write surety today. Um, and, then, and then we want to touch on a few sales strategies that we've seen work really well for agents that we work with. Um, and then we want to dive into some of the challenges with surety and how we help our agents uh, mitigate those challenges. Um, and then Nick's going to run you through a quick demo of how our system works um, before we get into that, though, uh, Gina just reminded me that um, I should highlight a big win that we've already had um, that Gina is partially responsible for. We, um, we met an agent at the IIANC Expo event last month or earlier this month, and um, we've written our first bond for those guys. Um, and uh, if the contractor is low on that project, the agent is going to receive a $17,000 commission. So that'll be the first bond that we'll do through IIANC and, and a rela relationship that they've handed us. Um, and we want to do a bunch of those and we want to do them, do them with you guys as well. Um, so, Gina, can we go to, uh, can we just jump into it? Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. So... Agents that write surety love it. Really, we think for two reasons. The first is that commissions are huge. Surety offers by far the most generous commission structure of any commercial property and casualty line of business of any real size. 30% um, um, is, is standard. We pay 30%. Um, the average agent commission on the bonds that we write um, and we've written, it's coming, it's getting close to 1,500 of them now. The average commission that we pay an agent every time they do one of these things is about $2,500. Um, and our average account um, requests or gets about two and a half bonds a year. So, you know, on average, every time an agent introduces an account to us, submits an account to us, you know, on average, the agent makes about $6,200 a year in commissions um, on that account. So it's really lucrative um, line of business. The second thing that we think is really important about surety is that, you know, surety is really a niche product. It's kind of a credit product. It's, it's funky. Um, and it's something that a lot of the larger agencies and brokerages use to basically steal accounts that have grown um, uh, and, and, and become bigger and started to need surety bonds. And so, you know, by having access to a surety market mastering surety, we think it's a great way to protect, um, to protect the book of business. And then it's also, we think, a great way to win accounts, especially accounts that, that really depend on surety. It's things like construction, mining, energy, and a whole host of other industries where surety is really important. Um, 
And, and so having access to surety markets and, and, and being able to place those bonds for those folks, we think is really helpful for winning business in those industries. Um, and then, you know, if you if you can win their their surety business there and then the and then the insurance, there's even more money to be made on the insurance side. We think the construction industry in the U.S. generates about ten billion dollars a year in agency commissions. So um, but to get a lot of that, you've got to be able to place their bonds, too. And that's what we want to help with. Um, perfect. Um, so. We've taken a look at some data. And it looks like there is about $82 million um, this year in commissions that will be paid to insurance agents in North Carolina for surety bonds. So $82 million in commissions for surety in North Carolina this year. We can break that into two parts. The first part um, is contract surety. And I will dive into this a little bit more in a, in a second, but that's surety bonds generally for construction contractors, right? So you can see here, the biggest chunk of that's general contractors. The next biggest part of that is um, trade contractors. That's your HVAC, plumbing, mechanical, electrical contractors, small and large, um, heavy contractors, that's road builders, folks like that, specialty contractors. That might be somebody like a um, an asbestos um, abatement contractor or a trail builder, someone like that. Um, service contractors, that might be somebody that installs and maintains um, security equipment um, or any host of other things. Manufacturers are increasingly being asked to provide surety bonds um, when they supply goods to, especially to construction sites. And then developers, developers have to um, purchase surety bonds. And that's really the theme across all of surety is, is that Surety bonds are required by often by, by law to be purchased. So these guys have to buy them. Um, the second piece here is smaller. It's about 30 million in commission a year. And that's commercial surety bonds. Um, that's a wide range of things. The biggest component of that is license bonds, right? So if you're a business and you want to get licensed to be a barber, you have to get a license. Um, the bond guarantees you'll do what you say you're going to do under that license. Um, and we write both contract and commercial surety bonds. So we want to just dive in really quickly into conceptually what a surety bond is, just so we're all chatting about this from the same direction. A surety bond is just a third party guarantee. Um, it guarantees that your client, who we call the principal, you know, the insured, um, is going to live up to some obligation they have to someone else. That could be their obligation under a construction contract, a licensing agreement, a development agreement, any host of things. It's just a guarantee. It's fundamentally different from the other insurance products that you guys place because if you write or if, if you sell somebody a, um, a commercial auto policy or an auto policy, there might be a deductible involved, but that is really a risk transfer. That, that they're buying, right? Transferring the risk from the, from the insured's balance sheet to the carrier's balance sheet. Surety is different in that um, when you buy a surety bond, you're just paying the insurance carrier to put their balance sheet behind yours. It is a, it, it's a guarantee. So it's really underwritten more like a credit product than like an, uh, most insurance products. There are two, if we were going to look at it, you know, at, at the highest level possible, there are really two types of surety bonds. Um, about two thirds of the market is contract surety bonds. Um, these are purchased by construction contractors um, because one of their counterparties, usually a, an owner of a project, requires them to provide a guarantee that um, the contractor will fulfill their obligations under a contract, right? So, so a uh, contract surety bond is basically attached to the construction contract and it's basically an insurance company co-signing for the contractor's obligations under that contract. Uh, contract bonds are underwritten um, based on a number of different factors. Smaller bonds can be underwritten basically off of credit scores and some indication of the contractor's experience. 
Uh, as bonds get larger, contract bonds get larger, um, underwriters want to see um, the contractor's financial statements and the contractor's owner's financial statements as well. Um, there are a number of different types of contract bonds here. Bid bonds, performance and payment bonds um, are the biggest chunk of the market. Supply bonds, that's really for the manufacturers, and developer bonds. Um, if you want to subdivide land, you've got to buy uh, subdivision bonds if you're a developer. But performance and payment bonds are the ones that guarantee performance under these construction contracts, usually. On the commercial surety side, and this is a, about a third of the market, the other third of the market, um, these bonds, there, there's a lot of variation here, but these bonds um, usually or often um, guarantee that, that the client you're insured, who we call the principal, will perform some underlying obligation, like complying with a licensing requirement. Um, if you want to, uh, if you're a, if you own a quarry in North Carolina, you have to get a license or a permit to operate that quarry. Well, as part of that licensing pro process, the state requires you to purchase a surety bond. Um, and that's true across a, a wide range of other industries. The bonds generally run to state agencies. Similar to the contract side, smaller commercial bonds can be underwritten based off of credit scores and some indication of the principal's experience and expertise and, and history. Larger commercial bonds um, often require some level of financial uh, underwriting as well. So, so the underwriter is going to want to see financial statements. Wide range of different types of commercial bonds here. License and permit bonds, like the example we just gave, court bonds. Um, if you uh, if you wanted to administer an estate, you'd have to uh, get a get a probate bond. Public official, if you want to be the uh, local um, uh, county treasurer, you've got to get a bond. It guarantees that you're not going to run off with the money. Um, different types of financial guarantees, and then a wide range of other miscellaneous types of commercial bonds. So that's a little bit about, you know, why we think surety matters. It's a big opportunity um, as far as immediate commission goes, right? Commission structures are really generous, 30% flat. It opens up new opportunities um, and it helps folks keep the clients that they have. And then, you know, there are really two types here, contract and commercial. Beyond that, as far as, as, far as um, sales strategies, We've seen a number of things work really well. The first is for existing clients. Um, we've seen agents that have found really two sets of ways to add a lot of value for their insureds, for their clients using surety in a way that makes those clients, those insureds a lot more sticky, right? And improves retention. The first is to, you know, at the next renewal, the next time, talk to them. Um, if they're in a space that um, has opportunities for surety, especially on the contract surety side, right? If they're a construction contractor, if they're a service business, if they're a manufacturer, if they're a developer, um, it might be worth introdu introducing the idea of bonded work out there. There's a lot of bonded work for these guys. And the biggest barrier to entry in a lot of cases is bonding. Um, and so if you can get them bonded, you can open up a lot of new opportunities for these clients. And we think that doing that makes, you know, makes you guys as the agent really an, a really important part of the operation. If you can help them drive that growth, win these new contracts by getting them these bonds. Um, and then, you know, we see that, you know, a happy, a happy insured tells their buddy about it and it really builds on itself, right? A lot of referrals come in um, that way. The second thing, and, and this has become really common in the last few years, is using surety to improve an insured's liquidity position, right? Helping them, helping them get access to more cash. If you have any clients that have posted irrevocable letters of credit from a bank or cash deposits, um, often those letters of credit and cash deposits can be replaced with a surety bond. 
replacing those letters of credit or cash deposits with a surety bond is very helpful to the client because it gives them either the cash back into their pocket or it frees up availability under their revolving line of credit, right? So in either case, it gives them more access to liquidity. Folks love that. Um, so if you have any clients that rent, you know, significant office space, use lots of electricity, own real estate in some cases, um, asking if they have any um, letters of credit or, 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 or cash um, deposits down that could be replaced with surety bonds is a great way to, uh, to really help them out. The second um, set of, of sales strategies that we've seen work really well for folks um, involves winning new business. And so the first, the, the first part of this is obviously establishing the capability. Um, and we'd love to get you guys appointed on that front. But the second piece is, um, is, is hey, where do you find some of these contractors? You know, if you've got somebody in your office that wants to call on folks in the surety space, they wanna generate that 30% that commission, um, there's a lot of really helpful publicly available information. Um, you know, the, I mentioned the quarry example earlier, this North Carolina department of environmental quality, if you click on that link, and then there's a link inside of that page and we don't need to do it right now, Gina, but, um, they list out 2,400 businesses in North Carolina that have surety bonds posted, um, for uh, mining obligations. So 2,400 companies in North Carolina have surety bonds up just, just in the mining space, right? And, and you can go and, and see in there, I think they list, they definitely list the, the names and phone numbers. And I think the emails as well of people at those companies. So there's no shortage of, um, of good lead uh, generators out there because so much of surety is driven by the public sector, all of that information is public information. Um, we've seen a lot of folks go and find some of these um, lists of bidders in some cases or permit holders, and then just start reaching out to them and winning their business through the surety. Surety's tough though, traditionally, because it is really a differentiated, complicated niche insurance product. I mean, it is, it's a credit product. It's not um, it's not a standard uh, property and casualty product. And because it's so differentiated, we've seen folks have trouble with it. It can be a humongous pain to place these bonds because it often, for larger things especially, it becomes um, uh, more akin to getting a loan than placing, um, than placing an insurance policy. So we've gone about this um, in a little bit different way. So our solution, um, Gina, if you wanna to go to the next one, um, we've built a piece of software. We actually have more software engineers than underwriters at NREV. We've built a piece of software that makes surety simple and fast. The, 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 um, the industry standard surety application or contract surety is 135 questions long. Nick will show you a demo in a second. We do not ask 135 questions. Um, with us, you know, you'll get an answer back in about 22 seconds. Our system underwrites these things automatically. They might get put into review, but there's a, there are a number of underwriters here that are um, uh, on staff and ready to triage these things as they come through and walk you through um, getting these uh, these um, opportunities done. The other thing that our system does really well is it provides immediate feedback. Um, even if the system doesn't like an opportunity, it'll tell you why. And then it's great for managing these bonds. A lot of agents in their agency management system don't have surety set up. Um, our system can be used to manage these bonds throughout their life cycle and to manage the accounts. Um, this is a this is an example of a deal that we did um, with an agent who had never placed a surety bond before. Um, this agent um, had an HVAC contractor. The HVAC contractor did about five million dollars a year in revenue, um, and they somehow 
won a $2.3 million HVAC contract. This is going to be a transform, you know, transformative deal for the client, right? For the insured. Um, the agent um, logged into our portal. This is, the, this is the first bond they'd ever placed or this specific agent had ever placed. He logged into our portal. It took him 17 minutes to fill out the application because it was such a large bond. He got the longest application that our system uh, puts up. 22 seconds later, he got an approval and he generated over $20,000 in commission. Um, after that happened, he called us and it was like a string of, you know, uh, four letter words about how, how awesome this, this was. Um, and, uh, and so, you know, we, we have a lot of agents that have that experience or similar experiences working with us fast and simple, and you don't need to be a surety expert to play surety bonds with us. Um, we write contract and commercial surety bonds up to $10 million per bond. Uh, we write on Accelerant National Insurance Company paper, which is A-9, and Lexington National Insurance Corporation paper, which is A-5. We pay a 30% flat commission, and we would love to chat with y'all um, about anything, um, get you um, um, onboarded with us. We can get you marketing materials, applications, all that great stuff. Um, why don't we have, Gina, is it okay if we have Nick run through a demo before a Q&A? Mm -hmm. okay. Perfect. Nick, can you share? Yes, I absolutely can. You know, guys, one thing I also wanted to touch on as we kind of talk about this, you know, the difference between contract and commercial bonds. Um, contract bonds are fantastic. People love commercial bonds also because they renew every year. And so, you know, that's one kind of key piece to the puzzle here to kind of, you know, think about why, you know, bonding makes sense you know, similar to maybe some policies, right? The, the commercial bonds renew every year, you get paid every year, and you can write, you know, one account, one principal can need both contract and commercial bonds. So again, really increases retention uh, and customer success and, uh, sorry, customer sentiment. So without further ado, uh, this is a small demo of the InRev portal. And what we're going to show you really quickly here is how to get one of these contract bonds in just a few minutes. So I'm going to demo, you know, getting a $500,000 bond and then walk you through some of the power behind this tool, the, this platform that'll allow you to not only, um, you know, get bonds quickly, but manage your accounts and your business really easily. So first thing I'm gonna do is just click request a bond. And what we're gonna do, you're gonna see a list of existing accounts, but let's let's get a new a bond for a new principal. What we're gonna do here is we're just gonna give some background information on, on the prospect or, or the client at hand. So I'll just do Nick's construction company. You know, we'll do Again, some background information on just what's needed to get started. And, you know, tell us a little bit about who owns this company. You know, this is, again, as Jack was kind of touching on, um, you know, this is to start the underwriting process on the credit side um, and to understand the ownership structure here in place. I I don't own a home, but I'm going to lie and say I wish I did. I am married. And what we'll say here and what we'll show you here is typically these construction companies, you know, in the size range that we're talking about under $10 million are usually owned by maybe an individual or two and their spouses. So uh, we're just going to we're going to say here that I'm the sole owner, but I am married, uh, you know, and my wife Kat here. Um, you know, is my wife. So that's what we're going to do. We can send to a credit check. And then, you know, right now, you know, maybe we want to, we want to bond up to $500,000. The, what we're really trying to do here is make your life easier and say, look, for, based on the amount of capacity you need, 
you know, we're going to ask you more or less questions. So Jack mentioned the, you know, the agent that just got paid about $20,000 in commission, you know, they filled out the longest application that took them about 17 minutes. We'll do a shorter one for you really quickly. So just tell us a little about a little bit about their history. What do they do? You know, what does Nick's construction company specialize in? For the sake of the example, I'll be an electrical contractor today. You know, I've completed a $600,000 job and I've never failed to complete a job. I've never, you know, lost a payment suit and I've never caused another surety loss. You know, this is kind of back to the experience questions that Jack was asking or, or the experience um, underwriting that Jack was talking about in the previous slides. You know, and then lastly, just, just tell me pretty quickly on the financial side, is the company making money? You know, that's really what we want to know and, and kind of double check on. You know, that's all we need for, for, for the background on the account. That's it. Now you're just going to tell me about the bond that they need. So again, let's get a $500,000 bond here. You know, we're trying to save keystrokes. Just tell us what form it needs to be issued on and then tell us the, the kind of work that they're doing. We're, we're doing electrical work. You know, one thing we want to make sure is that electrical contractors aren't putting on a new roof. Again, some experience checks there. So um, I live in Denver, so the Broncos aren't looking so hot, but we'll do like Broncos, new lighting, uh, stadium lighting. <clears throat> just again, kind of give me some background on, you know, where the project is, you know, is there a developer? Is this kind of like a developer bond? It's not, um, it's, let's just say it's going to take five months to complete. You know, I got to guarantee my work for about, you know, one year. And now I just have to upload a copy of the contract that, that we need. Once this is done uploading, we're done answering any questions. We can essentially now get pre-qualified for a surety bond. So we have a little summary screen here. If there's anything you see that you want to change, you can just click on it. It brings you right back. But let's click submit. And what, what's happening is we are using the information that you gave us um, from the experience, from the background, from the ownership, and from the financial statements to come up with a score. And that score is driving an auto rate here. And we're showing you, you know, the terms immediately. So you can now go back to your contractor and say, oh, wow, you know, we got a bond for you in 25 seconds. This is a demo environment. It moves a little faster than real life. Real life kind of spins for about 20 seconds while it pulls some of that third party information. But we're, what we're also showing you here is like, okay, you know, Nick's construction company can get a bond. Nick and Kat just have to sign, you know, if this looks good, let's keep going. All right, so let's accept these terms. Now we're, we're, we're at about the 10 yard line here, you know, we're, and, and we're closing in on the goal line. So all we have to do now is have a comp the company, Nick's contractor, Nick's contract construction company, sign an indemnity agreement. You know, again, Jack was kind of mentioning here that surety bonds are really more of a like a, a credit product than they are an, an insurance product. So, you know, at the end of the day, if the insurance company is going to lend out their balance sheet and guarantee that the construction companies can complete the job, uh, you know, we need, we need to make sure that there's an agreement in place um, to say, if anything happens, you know, here's everyone's rights. And that's really all an indemnity agreement does. And then you got to tell us how you want the bond issue. So we can issue bonds electronically, uh, and we'll show you that just for the sake of the example. And let's just say this is going to run to Gina's township. You know, as Jack was mentioning, there's a lot of public work out there that typically runs to public entities like townships, municipalities, cities, things like that. And now we're, we're at the goal. So we're going to click issue bond. What's happening now is our, our platform is automatically um, generating this agreement that the contractor needs to sign. And it's being sent out to them to sign via DocuSign. Uh, this is the this is like a preview of the message that the contractor is going to get to review the document and sign it. And so I'll just quickly 
sign this document pretending to be the contractor right now and, and we'll keep it moving. So standard DocuSign, you know, your name goes here. This is fun stuff. And this is traditionally a huge pain point in the process, getting this agreement signed um, because we've got DocuSign integrated here. It makes this a lot easier and a lot smoother to get the deal across the finish line. Traditional sureties to Jack point to Jack's point require this to be signed um, with wet ink and and oftentimes um, you know that slows down the process a lot. You know we do acknowledge at the same time that not every contractor is is the most savvy when it comes to technology. So even if even if they don't want to do DocuSign, we give you the opportunity to still print it out, use wet ink, and go about that way. But again, what we're trying to do is make getting this surety bond really simple, easy, and straightforward. And so, you know, we're showing you the happy path here. So what's happening now is DocuSign, has the DocuSign agreement's been completed. DocuSign's talking to InRev's platform and saying, hey, you know, the roadblock to get the bond has now been overcome. They've signed the agreement. So our portal is now instantly generating and executing this bond. So when we refresh the page, you'll see here that, boom, here's a copy of the bond. Here are the terms, you know, 2%, $10,000. But we have a, like a, a, a live bond, right, that's running to Gina's Township for Nick's Construction Company for the Broncos' new stadium lighting package. We've got digital seals, digital signatures, and all of the necessary documents attached to the bond that make this a live bond. All you need to do is send this to the client, have them sign the bond and, deli and, and deliver it to the owner and they're ready to go. That whole process took less, less than 15 minutes here and you now have a bond in your client's hand. One thing to note is that, you know, we, we, we're sending you the bond, so you just have to deliver it to the client. Um, you know, we want to make sure that that you are that you are the heroes here. You can do a bunch of stuff in this portal that helps service it, but one of the most important things that we see is you know you want to be able to quickly answer any questions about you know where your clients at in their general bonding capacity um, in their bonding terms. And so you know, now that you have this bond, let's just say in a few months they call back. And they say, hey, you know, can you tell me what my bonding rate is? Or, you know, can you tell me, you know, how much capacity can I bid this project coming up? You can quickly log in and come to this accounts page and see immediately. You know, it looks like you got pre-qualified for a $500,000 bond program. You don't have any remaining. So, you know, let me call the bonding company. Let me call Nick and Jack and see what we can do here to try and get you pre-qualified. Very, very often what happens is, you know, this project that we already bonded is already complete. We can close that out and get you another bond. And this kind of, this little bar will, will show you how much is remaining. But again, we try and give you a quick hit and a quick visual of where, where the client is in, in their surety program at any given time. So you could also just something like, hey, you know, if you want to bid it, put in 2% as like an additional cost here. Um, as you factor in bonding coverage. Uh, if you needed to, you can see who signed the indemnity agreement or who hasn't if, you, if that process kind of gets held up. And then you'll also see any kind of underwriting file that InRev has on the contractor. So our not only do we want to make this super easy and simple for you guys, but we also want to give you a ton of transparency and tell you what we have to make a decision. So if there's any outstanding documents that we ask for, you know, you can upload them right here and we can have a conversation about the account all in one place. So there are some, a few other screens here, but you know, that's the, that's the real power behind this thing. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we just showed you how to get $10,000 in, uh, in premium. So that's a $3,500 commission check in, in 15 minutes or less. Jack, did I miss anything here? No, I think that's um, that, that's a great run through, guys. This portal is really meant to make surety accessible. You know, if, if bonds are not your um, like your main activity, 
we've tried to squeeze a lot of the complexity out of surety with this portal and make it simple but also fast to place these things um and so we'd love to get going with y'all and um and, and open up for any questions now or thoughts I don't see any questions in the chat. Um, if anyone has, please feel free to unmute or put a question in the chat while we've got the guys available. Um, while you're thinking of questions, I would just ask if you would like to go ahead and get started with NREV, please send me an email and I can get you signed up through IMS. I think it's very painless um, to get this process started. Um, it was a great review today of the product, and it, it really and truly is quick and easy. Um, and the fact that they are giving you leads um, to find um, potential customers. Um, what a great tool that is. So, Yeah, and um, guys, if... Uh... If you all come across any surety opportunities, maybe, you know, even if you have a surety um, relationship in place with an underwriter or a carrier, um, we'd love it if you'd give us a shot. I think that you'll find that we'll get back to you faster than um, than the rest of the markets um, and uh, and and we'll be as flexible um, as we can on um, on getting things done. All right. Well, um, I don't see any questions. So thank you again, Jack and Nick, for presenting NREV today. And thank you to our members for being here. Um, we know that your time is important. So we do appreciate that you carved out um, some time for us today. Um, with that being said, we're going to close it. But please feel free to email me if you have any questions, if I can assist you in any way. All right. Thank you. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, Gina. Bye. Thank you.